to motivate you this morning, we turn to Dr. Julian Russell of Missionary Covenant Life Presbyterian Church. It's taken from Jeremiah chapter 29, uh, beginning at verse 4. And the Lord writes a letter to the children of Israel, and he says, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, uh, to all the ones whom I have sent into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. The reason I brought this up is we are living in times that are not normal. These are not normal times for us. And uh, I don't know if anybody saw this coming, but like Israel going into exile, they had to live for 70 years uh, in times that were not normal for them. So I want us to see the similarities. So God says, I am sending you into exile. And verse five, he says, build houses and live in them, plant gardens and eat their produce. Take wives and have sons and daughters. Take wives, your sons and daughters, and give your daughters in marriage that they, that they may bear sons and daughters. Multiply there and do not decrease, but seek the welfare of the city we have sent you into exile and pray for the Lord on its behalf. For in its welfare, you will find your people peace, your welfare. So the Lord is telling Israel, hey, there's going to be a new normal because I'm sending you into exile. I'm sending you into Babylon. And in similar language, the Lord has told us, his people, that I, this is a new normal. I've permitted something to happen to you that, that is unprecedented in nature. It's a new normal. And so get used to the new normal. Uh, and and the new normal is really Jesus, my friends. But here's the here's the word of hope I want to give you this morning, and it's taken from uh, verse ten of Jeremiah twenty nine. For thus says the Lord, when 70 years are completed for Babylon, I will visit you and I will fulfill to you my promise and bring you back to this place. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for wholeness and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. That's the sovereign Lord talking. That's, the, that's someone who's in charge. And even though things don't look well right now, we take comfort in the fact that the one who says to you that I am sending you into exile to Babylon, I will bring you back after 70 years. So the, the Lord who has allowed this COVID pandemic to take hold of us, to really arrest us and, and to cause us to live a new normal is the one who is telling us to do. Take comfort in the fact that this doesn't catch me up by surprise, for I know the plans I have for you. Some of, you, some of us may never come out of this, this side of that. So what if we lose everything and go to be with Jesus? To die is gain. Um, but for the rest of us whom he allows to come out of this, Remember and lament what, is, what has been normal. And take advantage of every minute of your life. Redeem the time because the days are evil. The Lord who sent you into this, who has allowed you to go and live the way you live, is the same Lord who's going to take you out of this. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage.